Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Today our uh, video is we are going to discuss about the incremental refresh. Okay, so the first point. Okay, when we will go for an incremental refresh? Why incremental refresh? Oh, these two points are very very important. Okay, when we will go for an incremental refresh? That means okay, suppose you have a uh, five years of data or seven years of data. Okay. So every time you are refreshing the same data, okay, whatever the new data plus the same data. Suppose uh, if I open Excel, okay, so let me open Excel guys, okay. Suppose you have a uh, thousands of millions of records you have, okay. And every time you are refreshing, okay. So five years of data, so you have something, okay. So you can say, okay, any anything, okay. So five years of data and new records, okay. This is this some, okay. So I'm just keeping the dates guys, okay. That may be okay. So 2021, 2020. And then so daily, daily, it's increasing data, right? So okay, daily, daily transactions. Okay. Where we will get the transactions in fact table, right? So daily, daily data will get in a fact table. Okay. This will increase. Daily, daily, it will be increased, right? Daily, daily, it will be increased. Okay. So so the historical data will be remain same every time. Okay. It will not change. Uh, historical data remains same. Okay. Suppose if I increase only. Uh, this one week data okay suppose only one week data i want to refresh okay i don't want to refresh all all previous data okay I, I don't want to refresh all previous data so if you combine all data and if you refresh it will take almost okay 30 minutes to one hour okay so it may okay it may cause timeout error also okay so it will um, it may it may cause okay it may cause a timeout error because of okay historical data to avoid that okay to avoid that only whatever the latest data first we'll do the full refresh okay first time we'll do the full refresh then after we'll do the incremental refresh okay full refresh first time so it will take full refresh okay whatever the data we have the five years of data so it will take the full refresh first and then so whenever the new changes detected okay whenever the new changes okay so me if you specify only uh, last seven days or last eight days or last one month or last six months you want to refresh only it will refresh only that uh, that many uh, refreshes okay that uh, that that is the range it will take and then so incremental refresh will happen okay incremental refresh will happens okay so first it will do the full refresh and then after it will go with the incremental refresh okay so why uh, we will go for incremental refresh uh, for to refresh data fast okay to refresh data fast and also you can uh, save the resource okay you can save the resource time also okay so it will not take more time to refresh the data okay and also we can avoid the okay uh, you, you can avoid the timeout errors and all okay so that uh, this is the efficient way okay incremental refresh is the efficient way to refresh when we have the a large amount of data okay for that purpose we'll go and so to uh, go with the, okay to go with the incremental refresh that you can go you can configure with the pro license or premium license anything is fine guys okay anything is fine okay you may have a pro or premium license okay you can go uh, you can go and do with the incremental refresh the okay, condition to follow guys okay so your query should enable with the query folding what is query folding okay so when we uh, you know uh, connect with the file okay connect with the tables something like that okay so it it will work it will work only query folding will work only on databases guys okay query folding will work only on databases only on databases okay dbs okay so what is query folding native query and should be on guys okay where is the native query okay let me take the data okay get data this time i'm connecting adventure works case okay adventure works dw okay uh, only factable okay why because um, th this we can enable in okay factable only and condition should be applied only import connection okay it will not work on direct connection it will work only on import connection guys okay so just click on that this time I'm selecting only fact internet sales table. Okay. I'm not going to create any report, but how to configure the incremental refresh. Okay. That is our main target, right? So I'm going to uh, show you the fact internet sales. Okay. Select this one and then transform. Okay. We'll go to the power query. So where we have to uh, configure. Okay. Configuration we'll talk later, but uh, so this time query folding okay where we have the query folding how to identify query folding is uh, available or not okay so when you go here and then see so this means okay it's enabled okay 
this means it's enabled okay query folding is enabled okay query folding means okay so what is query folding okay whenever the query fold is enabled whatever the steps you applied okay whatever the steps you applied it will execute in the source level guys okay it's source level not in the power bi side so that it will improve the performance of the report okay so query folding will discuss okay we'll discuss in a later session but query folding should be enabled guys okay so what are the so where we can apply query folding and all so there is a article um, uh, written by microsoft so you can go and you can see that article also guys okay let me go here and then see this query folding you can search query folding okay so here so where we can apply the query folding and where we cannot apply the query folding and all okay query folding can be achieved okay so below steps removing rows uh, removing columns and uh, filter something we can achieve this okay but we cannot okay so query fold prevent folders okay merging uh, based uh, merging uh, queries okay merging queries based on the different sources okay so appending okay this can be avoided okay index adding index we cannot create okay so we cannot uh, on the query folding okay there are uh, article you can go through it okay so when it is on okay it will be uh, enable and when it is uh, okay not on okay it will be disabled mode guys okay this way we can identify whether query folding is on or not okay so the first condition is query folding should be on okay that is the first condition okay and query folding will work only on databases guys okay try to understand that and so it should be import to mode connection okay to uh, to implement that okay to implement the incremental refresh so your connection mode should be import mode okay and once you publish that report into power bi service you cannot download the pbix file guys okay this is three conditions you, you keep, keep in mind guys okay keep in mind this three points keep in mind okay that is the conditions and now implementation of incremental refresh guys okay implementation of incremental refresh okay so to implement that so we have to create the two parameters guys okay so first we have to create the two parameters on the date columns okay what are those parameters okay range stat and range end okay if you write okay that is a inbuilt parameters guys okay if you change the spelling mistake also it will not uh, write okay so these are you have to write a parameter name okay range start okay range start and range end okay so if you start range okay if you write start range and start end it will not work guys okay so range start okay you have to write the same way okay so you have to create two parameters okay to configure that okay first step you have to create a parameters on date column okay create parameters on date column okay on date column okay what are the parameters range start and range end okay so let me go here and then so choose the choose go to column okay there is a order date okay in packed uh, pack internet sales there is a order date okay order date okay double click on that our selection will be an order date okay so on this we have to create two manage parameter case okay first one is create new parameter okay create new parameter that is range start okay range start okay so data type what is that data type date time okay select the data type date time guys okay date time date type see order date is so if you see the order date that is the date 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 time okay so that is the reason to filter the data so even parameter should also have date time okay keep some uh, current filters okay so that may be okay uh, seven okay um seven zero one and then 2013 okay so that is my current value in the start range okay so that is the start range case okay so filter has been okay one parameter has been created okay create one more parameter okay again go to that uh, order date okay so create one more parameter that is a uh, range end okay sorry 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 no 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 not manage parameter <coughs> create one more parameter that is range end parameter case okay range end range end okay this time also it's a date time uh, param date time um, uh, data type and then so this time i am selecting 12 01 
and 2013 okay so this range okay this range only i want to filter the data okay click okay okay so now parameter has been created okay we need to map the parameter with the order details okay so parameters range start and range and range and has been created so we need to map the parameters okay just go here again go to that column okay order date column okay order date okay so this time you can select from here okay you have to filter the data okay you have to filter the data go to the custom okay custom filters okay apply the filters okay apply the filters now okay you have so now whatever you apply here okay whatever you provide the filters in start range and start ends okay start end so based on that filter it will filter the data okay for that so you can go with the manage parameter and the, so this time i'm so whatever i pass here okay so whatever i pass here okay in the start range so that will be passed here okay whatever i pass in the range end okay it will pass here okay based on that it will filter the data okay based on that it will filter the data so it go here here so you have to change um after or equal to okay you have to select after or equal to okay the start date should be okay after or equal to and here you should select okay before or before okay is before where is this before okay you have to select is before and then this time you have to select the parameter okay that is range end okay and then click okay okay so now filter is been applied okay so whatever the filter you applied so the same data is been filtered now okay then same data has been filtered now okay then click and close and apply it okay so parameters mapped okay so first parameter has been created and then map the parameters okay map the parameters in the second step okay now so then and close and apply okay so what we did and then close and apply and apply so that step we have done now we have to implement the incremental refresh here okay just go to the field section there is a tables okay field okay tables there you can see you can identify the incremental refresh case okay so now we are going to implement the incremental refresh now okay so let's see that incremental refresh click on incremental refresh okay so this time okay you can on the incremental refresh okay set import and refresh the range okay so you can on the incremental refresh you can on the incremental refresh this time so if you want to load the okay first time full full data okay you want to archive the five years data and then okay if you want to specify the five years okay and then incremental refresh okay incremental refresh start date should be okay that maybe you want only seven days okay something you can specify only the latest seven day, seven days so you can uh, take this latest seven days data and then it will refresh case okay seven days data and it will refresh so you can click on okay if you want to auto detect changes you can click this options also okay you want to auto detect the changes okay if the any changes on uh, the table okay so we can uh, specify that and then we can apply okay click apply guys okay so it will only check the uh, first it will do the full uh, refresh for five years and then so next time onwards it will do it will take only uh, seven days before data and then it will apply the changes okay so just click apply okay incremental refresh has been done guys okay we implemented now we have to publish it okay we have to publish okay then click on publish button before that we have to save the file okay so you can specify okay you can specify incremental refresh okay condition remember guys okay you cannot uh, import the okay so just we can specify the test and then i am going to okay now i am going to publish now okay uh, so this is the dev workspace okay dev workspace i am going to publish and then select okay so test is already there i think so okay we will keep uh, uh, a different name sorry save as okay test one 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 something like that okay we'll keep that okay now click on publish okay dev workspace select that and then click okay okay test one one as a there no problem okay okay so what we'll do sorry for this okay what we'll do test 
um, incremental repeat that would be better okay so incremental is not there test incremental refresh okay click okay and then publish click on publish okay dev workspace and then select so it will be published into power bi service case okay from there we'll check okay from there we'll check whether uh, this can be published or not okay this can be downloaded okay this file can be downloaded or not and then all everything we can see okay so so yes it, it has been published okay so if you go to our pcf dev folder okay dev workspace okay pcf dev workspace and then if you see the latest okay refresh this okay incremental refresh. test incremental refresh this is our report right so then we'll try to open it and then we'll try to download it okay so we'll download the file okay download pbx file okay so you cannot download the pbx file guys okay as for our condition we cannot download the pbx file okay so that is the one thing okay and even if you want to refresh it okay even you want to refresh it okay so go to refresh or refresh you can go with the schedule refresh okay there you have to maintain the gateway connection okay if gateway connection is on okay so gateway connection is on okay then you can go with the credentials okay if you have any credentials you can start okay you can provide the credentials okay if you don't have any credentials just uh, ignore it okay so basic uh, or uh, something like that okay you can give um, windows authentication okay and uh, none we can keep okay and then sign in something like that okay so the credentials has been done and then you can go with the schedules okay whatever the schedules you specify okay whatever the timings you can add then you can apply guys okay so you can add some time okay so like this time you should do incremental refresh okay so like uh, 8 30 pm something like that okay it will do the incremental refresh daily 8 30 pm guys okay so if you want to daily if you don't want daily you can keep weekly okay weekly every uh, only friday okay only friday i want to keep only oh, friday okay you can go with the friday okay friday 8 30 pm every uh, friday 8 30 pm you can go and then you can apply filters okay so if here there is an email id you can see there is an email id right if something goes wrong you can specify the email ids and then you can apply the filter okay so that is about the incremental refresh case okay hope you understand okay if you like my video please uh, share and subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed thank you guys okay that's it for today okay hope you enjoy the session okay <clears throat> Sorry, let me... thank you guys okay